Hi everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to try Obsession Makeup London eyeshadow palettes for the first time and I've never tried anything else except the blushes that I got. I'm going to put link down below for that video where I swatched all of the blushes and uh, today I'm going to use these two eyeshadow palettes and no eyeshadow and face palette to create this makeup look and I used this you got it this is a face palette it has a nice contour shade bronze shade blush and highlighters really like it of course you can use it as eyeshadows too I'm going to use that on my face today this palette cool down I'm going to use on my eyes today and I did use every shade in this palette to create this beautiful makeup look and I'm going to swatch it too so if you want to see that you have to keep on watching but before you don't forget to subscribe because I'm also going to review these two palettes no, these two palettes of course I got all four of them but I'm not going to use all of them in one video because I want to use every shade in every palette to create a beautiful makeup look so you can see well, how you can use it in the future I'm going to use this <clears throat> excuse me my voice is gone today my throat hurts and I feel like my voice is going to disappear um, back to the palettes I have this warm-up palette this is a beautiful palette I can't wait to try these eyeshadows on my eyes and of course this one love every shade and this is also a beautiful palette can't wait to try this too but today we are going to use cool down on the eyes and of course you got this on the face so if you want to see that please keep on watching so let's start with this you got this face palette and it looks like this beautiful shades and I think I'm going to use this take this wish with this brush and put a little bit of it under my eye this one is a little bit too yellow for me but it's a very nice milk powder let's go into and contour with this shade this is spirit and I'm going to use my favorite contour brush this is number one from BH Cosmetics I'm going to take looks pigmented and contour Ooh, that's nice Uh, it's a little bit warm on my skin tone and it turns out a little bit red But it blends very nice. I like it. Then I'm going to take uh, this Shade I'm going to take this kind of brush you can See it come to my nose and we're going to take this goals shade this one is more cold brown and come to my nose Oh, that's a nice shade. It's very pigmented. I mean, this looks more as highlighters than blushes because they're very pigmented. So I'm going to take this goals and bronze my face, but I'm going to be careful not to take too much because it is very pigmented. It's a little bit hard to get my brush in there but that's nice I know if you can see but this side is bronze and this one is not I like this shade so I don't usually like to go in with very shimmery blushes but for this video and this palette, I'm going to take this Ace as my blush. And I know I'm going to regret that, but I'm going to take this number two from Beach Cosmetics. And 
all go in. Yeah, that's that's shimmery. It doesn't emphasize my pores. That's strange. I would prefer if this shade was less sh less shimmery, but I like it. It doesn't. Yeah, it looks good. Not bad. Okay, then I'm going to take uh, a little bit of this. I don't know. This free and ready looks like very nice highlighters and I think I want to mix those two together but let's try this free first on one side oh that's very pigmented <laughs> blinding and let's take the other side of the brush and take this ready and see how that works looks on my skin Ooh, that's pretty and pigmented let's make it even on the other side take more of that uh, that oh my god i went a little bit heavy with my highlighter <laughs> that's blinding you have to be careful they are there i like this palette so let's go over to the eyes and like I said in the beginning of the video I'm going to use uh, this one uh, cool down first and this palette is beautiful it's more beautiful in person than on um, the camera so let's take and swatch this palette these are nice let's swatch these shades they are very soft oh that one is beautiful yeah i like that i'm going to take my brush and i'm going to take this cool shade as a transition shade and i did use my milani eyeshadow primer so far this one blends very easy and then i'm going to go into this mellow i think it's called with the same brush and bring it a little bit closer to the to the crease Now we went with the cool and this mellow in the crease. Then I'm going to take this one calm and I'm going to take it in a very small blending brush. It's very powdery, I don't know if you can see this dark one. but they blend nice. I really want to use uh, this shade. So I am going to take this dark purple for, first and blend it here together with, the, with Calm. And this one doesn't want to show with this brush. Oh, there you go. So I'm going to go back with my uh, crease brush and take this cool again and blend all of the shades together so there are no harsh lines. I'm going to take this kind of flat brush and take this shiver on uh, the inner corner of my eyelid but I'm going to take it dry first with the brush and see how it's applying. Yeah. There is nothing at all. You see, I'm digging. Uh, barely something here. I'm going to try with my finger. That works much better. But we're going to take the brush again and we're going to wet it. With uh, this pigment boost 
fix fixing spray so I am going to take a lot of that shade because that shade looks so beautiful and I'm going to wet it so and let's try again with the brush yeah so metallic and beautiful this looks I'm going to take this skate shade and I'm going to wet it too because this one is a little bit shimmery also that's beautiful duochrome that one looks skate white in the pan but it's pink and I like it the lower lash line I'm going to take this cool and mellow and blend it under my eyes and I'm going to take this number eight from Beach Cosmetics mix those two together so I'm going to take this brush that I used to apply this purple eyeshadow but I did clean it and I'm going to go into this uh, roots and calm very close to my lash line and then I'm going to use this flat brush and use this crispy and to try that shade too and I'll, of course I'm going to wet it Oh, this one is beautiful. I'm going to take this icy shade too and apply it here also. So I'm going to put my mascara and eyelashes and I'll be right back. So guys, this is the final look. I really like how this turned out. Really, really love this purple shade. It's so beautiful. And this one is very special. Really like it. Looks white in the pan, but when you swatch it, it's pink. I like it a lot. And I did use uh, this Kayal Isadora shade, lavender shade, in my waterline. I love this shade. It's you have to warm it up on your hand before you use it in the waterline and build it up. So it's not my perfect waterline Kanto Kayal pen, and it says waterproof. I don't know. But I really, really like this palette. It blended very nice. I can create many makeup looks. This icy would look beautiful all over the eyelid. Uh, it's very nice. They are not as pigmented as I thought it would be. But you have to build them up, of course. And you need to wet your brush when you use these shimmery eyeshadows. And you can use this one, this Pigment Boost Fix Fixing Spray. Really like it, works nice. And uh, yeah, this is cruelty free, good for 12 months. I like it, this shade is beautiful. It looks very patchy and like chalks of glitter when you use it. But when I swatched it and blend it in, it looks nice. So I'm very curious to see that shade all over my eyelid, but I really like this makeup look. I think it turned out beautifully and I, I adore this palette. It's a beautiful palette. So, and this also, this one, we got this I used all over my face. So I used this shade under my eyes and it's a little bit too yellow for me right now, but it's a nice shade to set your other eyes with maybe. You know, or use it to set your eyeshadow primer. That's not bad. This one looks nice to contour with. Uh, it's a little bit too dark for bronze. And it turns out a little bit red on my skin tone. This one I love a lot. And this one I didn't use. This is E Ace. And it's shimmery uh, brown shade. Looks like copper. And it's a little bit too dark for me to use as bronzer, uh, but maybe as an eyeshadow. Why not? And uh, this Ace is a beautiful shade. 
Now, I don't know if I will use it as a blush again, definitely as a eyeshadow, because I am looking for this kind of eyeshadow. Uh, may probably look beautiful when you wet it too. Love uh, this shade. And these two, these highlighters, I mean, it says it all. Look at my face. This one says it all. They are very pigmented, very, very pigmented. And yeah, I like this palette too. Definitely going to use it because it's a very nice palette that you, you can use all over. But yeah, you don't need any other eyeshadow palette. You can use only this to contour and bronze your skin for highlighter, for eyeshadow. I think this is a perfect to travel with. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe I travel with it when I go on vacation. So guys, I hope you like this video. Give a thumbs up if you do. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to, to enter my giveaway. I'm going to put link down below and card up here at the end of this video. But yeah, that was everything. I really like this eyeshadow palette. I don't have any obsession eyeshadow eyeshadows and I'm glad that I bought them and can try and try them out. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in my next video. Bye.